<clears throat> What's up, guys? Dad Dash here. Wanted to uh, talk with you here um, about a subject matter that I think um, every gig business operator should be concerning themselves with, and that is miles and how it affects your decision making when accepting an order. So, um, I want to talk about this, and hopefully maybe you guys can comment as well in the, uh, in the comment section here of this video and tell me exactly how your opinions are. But when I'm looking at mileage, I look at two different things when it comes to miles. And I believe that uh, if you're not doing this, then you're probably missing some opportunities. So, I look at it as, uh, when I'm looking at an order, I'm looking to say, where does the end point of that order occur? And what is the likelihood that I will get an order at that end point? And that piece is key to whether or not I accept that order and what I'm going to set the standard after that order. In the event that I know I can get an order and I know I'm in a place that there should be a quality order coming um, where that endpoint's at. I will um, use as low as 85 cents a mile, okay? Because in that case, the way I look at it is, is I'm not worried about the return miles. I'm not worried about whether or not I get it. I'm just looking at the hourly amount. So I'm looking to say, how many orders, how long will it take me to complete this order? And it, it, what does that time represent in terms of hourly gross revenue? Now, if it's going to take me out of the sector, if it's going to take me to a point that I'm going to have to drive afterwards in order to be in a position to get another order, then I'm going to institute a dollar forty or more a mile. That's what I'm going to look for. And if I can't get at least a dollar forty or more, then I'm not going to look at that order. Now, if it's going to require me to drive all the way back to my sector, or in other words, if it's going to require me to drive the same amount of miles as I'm driving out to come back, then I'll move that standard up to two dollars. Um, because, and of course, I'm going to always be looking at the time as well. Um, so, for instance, let's say I got a $12, 12 mile order, but it's going to require me to go 12 miles to the drop off and then 12 miles back to be in a position to get an order. And I realize that drive is taking me, say, 30 minutes to get there and 30 minutes back. Well, the way I'm looking at that order is it's a $12 an hour order. I'm not going to do it, okay? Because it's going to require me to invest an hour of my time and only be compensated $12 and I have no way of getting another order um, within a period of time and also I'm going to have to invest 24 miles to get back now if I get an order that's $12 and 12 miles but I'm going to know but I know I'm going to be in a position to see quality orders at the end of that order then I will take that order. And if I know I can get it done in 30 minutes, then I know that I need to get, uh, you know, either, you know, a $7 or greater order for a 15 minute order. That'll take me 15 minutes to complete. Or I know I've got to get at least 13 more dollars uh, for my next order and be able to complete it within 30 minutes to make my $25 that I like to generate per hour. So, um, I think making that distinction is important. And for me, it makes a huge difference in how I, uh, how our earnings end up at the end of the night. I have made mistakes. I have taken orders that have taken me way out of the pocket for 13, 14, $15. And then it's taking me almost an hour to get back into position and get another order. And that kind of kills my night. So guys, tell me, I'd like to start a discussion here if you watch this video, what standards do you apply to your mileage? But I think this is something that's important. I know it's made a tremendous difference when I focused on this and 
to me, I look at mileage as uh, more of how much money am I generating per mile, and can I, you know, can I get an order right away and start generating money right away wherever that drop off is going to lead? Because if I'm earning, if I can continue to maintain that dollar, dollar forty, dollar fifty per mile uh, throughout the entire time that I'm working. Hey, I don't care about the mileage then. I mean, I'm getting a 56 cent deduction and that's going back in my pocket and I'm able to put money aside to, uh, you know, make up for the wear and tear and the extra expenses. But if I'm only earning 50 cents a mile, well, you know, I'm not even earning enough per mile to warrant the tax deduction. I mean, I'm kind of in the negative. I mean, I am getting to keep all of that money, but it's creating uh, a negative uh, a negative return on my money for that order. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. That's the discussion point I wanted to you know have today, and uh, keep dashing and keep making money. All right, guys, talk to you in a little while.